Are you ready? I guess so. Time to go to school. Not my favorite thing, but I guess we have to go. Sounds like these two youngins don't like going to school. I might have to tell them a story of what happened to us many years ago in the year 2020 when COVID-19 hit the world. That was a pretty fun day at school. It was fun to learn new things and play with my friends. Yeah, I guess so. Hey there, Grandpa. Hi, children. I want to tell you a little story. Many years ago, a virus hit the world. A who now hit the what? A virus. COVID-19. Some people even called it the coronavirus. And it was very easy to spread. People had to wash their hands not touch their face, and we had to social distance, which means that we couldn't see anybody who didn't live in our house. We had to stay home. Stay home? Does that mean we didn't have to go to school? Yay! Well, it wasn't that great. You weren't allowed to go to parks. You weren't allowed to go to parties. You had to stay inside your house all the time. And if you had to leave the house, it had to be for a very specific reason. Oh. Well, that sounds weird. Yeah, there were a lot of parts about it that were not fun. But when I was a child, I remember dancing in the living room with my family. I remember preparing meals morning, noon, and night. I remember going for walks. I remember reading with my family. And my parents were home all day. We had a lot of fun. Thanks for sharing that story, Grandpa. I never knew that happened. Well, like all of my stories, there's a moral to it. The grass is not greener on the other side. The grass is greener where you water it. It's important you change your perspective and make the best out of whatever situation you've got. Thanks, Grandpa. We love you. Mwah. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday morning. As you can see, my friend situation at home has increased since the last time we spoke. Um, we haven't named everybody, but obvious, obviously we have Baby Yoda, and we have Bartholomew McBee, and then we have our little friend over here who has not been named. We're not going to name him yet, but if you can hear, I bought him when I was in Moscow many, many, many years ago. I don't know what he's saying. He's talking in Russian. I'm not quite certain what he's saying. Hopefully you are counting my ums and ahs. Hopefully you count them all week long. I have. I don't think I've had any just yet. Hopefully you're counting them so at the end of the week I can, um, I can do my collection of push-ups. It'll be a lot of them because we're counting as of today. I don't know what you guys have planned for today, but it seems to be quite a gloomy day. Hopefully you have some time to do something creative, to make something, whether it's a puzzle or a Lego project. Hopefully you have some time to relax and watch some TV. I watched for the very first time The Princess and the Frog this weekend. That's such a good movie. I really enjoyed it. And hopefully you have some time to read. Hope you have some time to FaceTime or chat with some friends. And hopefully you have some time to get outside and go for a walk, remembering to distance yourself from anybody you see on the street politely. And that's about it. Have a wonderful Monday, everybody. Big hugs. Miss you all very much. And remember to be positive. I'm going to go and have my coffee now because as you can see, I need a coffee.